The SG-8 Punisher is one of the very first guns that most Helldivers will unlock. Situated on page 1 of the regular Warbond tree, this makes it an extremely remarkable weapon. Especially if we juxtapose its early accessibility to its performance after its recent buff. Being one of the few weapons that recently saw some love, the Punisher is a very remarkable gun, and today we'll dig into why that is. In our usual style, we'll be putting it up against an array of units, both Terminid and Automaton, to find out whether you may actually want to park your breaker shotgun to give this thing a whirl. And I think some of you actually might, so watch on. I was especially impressed by its performance against the Automatons, which constitutes the second half of this video. Let's get into it. The SG-8 Punisher is a powerful dual magazine pump-action shotgun with limited armor penetration, ideal for small and fast targets. I actually disagree with this to some extent after having stress tested it thoroughly, but more on that soon. It has a damage output of 405, making it on paper the most powerful primary currently in the game. A capacity of 16 rounds, a girthy recoil of 120, and a fire rate of 80. It's light armor penetrating and reloaded a single round at a time, which is a function I absolutely love. It's pretty much your classic vanilla shotgun archetype, firing pellets with reasonable accuracy to within around 40 meters. Its reload menu has nothing in it. Literally nothing. No, not, e not even a flashlight. I dig Spartan simplistic design as much as the next guy, but come on, you could have at least strapped a light on the damn thing. Because the menu doesn't, I'll take this moment to tell you that it's a semi-automatic weapon, firing once per trigger pull. We find out here that the gun has a total reserve round count of 60, combining with the 17 in the gun itself. The love or hate thing about the shotgun, which I personally love, is that it reloads one round at a time. This means that you can pace yourself, reloading as you shoot, and not needing to worry about wasting ammo in partially reloaded mags. This creates a playstyle that I absolutely adore, as you no doubt would have found out if you watched our stress test of my precious, beloved slugger, which is in fact just a modified Punisher, so this gun has a lot to live up to. Luckily for me, we start strong. The Punisher can wipe out all light terminated units at short range. The pellets do spray as you'd expect, so the further the distance to the target, the less assured you are of a one-shot takedown. It can behead the rank-and-file warriors in a single shot, and impressively even two-shot stalkers to the face at extremely short range. Likewise, the dreaded brood commanders can be taken out with two very close shots to the head, if you're lucky to land all the pellets. If you're not, however, it can become a real slog to take these guys out, so this gun very much preferentiates close and messy gunplay. The blocker comes with the hive guards. Because the Punisher is only a light armor penetrating weapon, it can't do a single thing against their frontal armor. You can blast away an entire mag of 16 rounds, try to whittle them down through the small cracks in their frontal armor, but in fact, even shooting them from the side in the fleshy bits isn't all that effective. With the Punisher, you're going to need a support weapon which can handle medium armoured units. Against the hated charges, using the mode du jour method of deplating the leg armour then pumping away, it can take them down in as little as three shots, depending on how the pallets land, how the charger feels, and how the stars are aligned. Generally, it will be anywhere between three to five shots to take one down. With Bile Titans, it goes without saying that you should park a low-level primary shotgun when fighting them and bust out your 500 kilo bombs instead. If you find yourself going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Titan using a Punisher, you've likely got way bigger problems to worry about than the gun's performance. The Punisher is a fantastic weapon against the Terminates, especially if we consider that this is our first available replacement for the Liberator. I would strongly recommend unlocking this gun on your way through the War Bonds, as it will make the early to mid difficulties against the Terminates far, far easier. But we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. Its performance against the bots blew my mind. Let's dig in. We're extremely close now to the drop of the new cutting edge War Bond. I've been stress testing our vanilla guns like crazy so that we have a good baseline of data to compare with, and I can't wait to test all the new energy based weapons coming as part of the new drop. Make sure you're subscribed not to miss it, coming shortly after release. Because this channel is currently rocketing, less than 3% of you guys are subscribed, which means most of you aren't getting notified when we post these. The Punisher completely wipes the floor with the Automaton Foot Soldier units. 
I've wiped entire squads with it as they kept reinforcing on top of my position. I was blasting away, jumping around and laughing myself silly with how f***ing satisfying this weapon is to use against them. But what really got me was how it wiped the floor with devastators at close range. Yes, you heard right. The first weapon you can unlock in this game can absolutely melt devastators if you use it right. First of all, it staggers them, meaning you can actually survive a close range encounter against the rocket devastator, which honestly is a miracle in its own right. Secondly, at the right distance, one or two shots to the face can actually take them down. And this is what you need to do, because the pellets lack stopping power to take them down any other way. Body shots can absolutely stagger lock devastators, but not much more than that. At mid-distance, you're going to have a far rougher time, so it's important that you keep a support on hand which can deal with these guys when they're out of range, such as the anti-material rifle, which has become my new favourite since the railgun got nerfed into irrelevancy. Berserkers have to engage you from melee, which the Punisher absolutely loves. This thing can saw these bastards in half, or headshot them like no tomorrow. Berserker rushes often instill fear and panic. With the Punisher, all you can hear is yourself echoing the words of your enthusiastic helldiver, Democracy. It's difficult to say how many shots can take down a Berserker as they wobble around so much and the gun has large pellet spray, but in general it can be anywhere between 2-4 to four rounds depending on how you're aiming. Against Striders is where the gun starts to show its limitations. It basically can't do anything to the mech itself. You must shoot the pilot from the sides, rear or top. There's not much more to say here, it's just not the right tool for the job, so make sure you bring a support which can penetrate medium or heavy armor. Against Hulks, it goes pretty much as you'd expect against the frontal armor. Never sleeps. To be avoided. I managed to get a few shots at the rear vent after reinforcing, but due to not having anyone around to pull aggro, I couldn't see it through to find out how many shots would take down a Hulk. My assumption would be around half a dozen or less, given the gun's immense raw damage output at close range. And that's the Punisher, ladies and gentlemen. Freaking awesome, right? No wonder this is the base for the best primary in the game, my precious, beloved Slugger. But on your way to unlock the Slugger, the Punisher will keep you very well satiated. Against the Terminates, I would say that the Breaker probably still gives the Punisher a run for its money. They have similar armor penetration capabilities, while the Breaker can shoot much, much faster. Against the bots though, it's hard to pick a single affordable weapon that even gets close to what the Punisher does. This thing schools the Jar 5 Terminator I reviewed recently, and that's supposed to be a several tiers ahead superior weapon. Truly, this thing would be impressive even if it weren't cheap. But it's both, so make sure you get it before the devs nerf it into the ground. Have you used it before? Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you for the next spanking session.